Shalom! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. If you are new here and the name of my channel is Indie Boo. Okay guys, so I have something exciting today. Ilya sent me some Kosa's lipsticks and I'm really excited to talk about these. I have one also that I purchased previously that I'm going to talk about as well in this video. And it is National Lipstick Day. If you're not watching this on National Lipstick Day, I get it. It's like one day, so whatever. I thought this was still a relevant video to do some swatching to talk about this brand because I think they're a very relevant brand. And when I mean relevant, I mean they have cool packaging. Yeah, let's just roll into talking about the stuff. So I am wearing one of their lipsticks today. So I'm wearing Rose Water. I think it's like a really... We'll swatch it and talk about it, but I just think it's a really nice neutral look. I'm not doing much today. Like my husband and I are going to the movie, but we walk to it. So it's not like a fancy date night or anything. It's just like, I want to see Mama Mia too. <laughs> All right, so Kosa's packaging is really nice and sleek and cool. So look at that. Like that's just really, it's just sexy to me. It just, it's plain, it's simple. That's what I like. I like something that's simple and gets the point across or something that's really pretty. Like that's, I'm very extreme with that because this is so simple. And then I like things, well, that fell on the floor. That was that, I'm trying to see what I have. Okay, like I think that Leilani's masks are beautiful and they're not as like simple as a Kosa's lipstick, but these are like the extremes I like in my aesthetic. They just are. I think they're very different, but they're nice. All right, so let's get into swatching. So these retail for about $30. They are a pricier lip product. I'm not someone who is, like I'm a blogger, guys. Again, I always wanna get that across to you. Like I don't think everyone needs all these crazy makeup collections, but something I understand is yes, I live in California now, but where I grew up, we didn't have a clean beauty store. Like that wasn't, it's not a thing even now. There's not a clean beauty store a lot of places and I understand we all have to buy online. So I wanna have swatches and things like that. That way if you're like, huh, how does that really look? Maybe on someone who's really pale like myself or just like, how did Reagan think that it performed or, and things like that. Like that's why I started my channel because I understand there's a need, especially in clean beauty to have honest voices out there talking about these products because, because sometimes it's not, I, I don't know, like I can go swatch a naked palette just straight out. I can, I can go to any freaking Sephora, any Ulta swatch a makeup palette, but I can't maybe go to any store and swatch Kosa's lipsticks. So yeah, here we are. This is why the channel began. Maybe I should do a whole thing about that at some point, but let's start with these swatches and talking about the formulation. Alrighty guys. So we're starting with the one that I purchased for myself. It was a few months ago and it is the shade Electra. So Electra is red, but it has kind of an orange undertone to it. So it's really pretty. I really like it for like pops of color looks today because I did use kind of a little, this just wasn't gonna match my eyeshadow straight out. Like it was gonna look a little odd. It would have had some major 80s vibes. Whenever I use this, I usually do like kind of a more neutral eye, black liner, and then this is like my pop of color. So swatching it here. So creamy, so pigmented. And the thing about this it is so long lasting. Like, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I'll flub up on things like during, if I haven't filmed for a few days and I'm kind of getting back into it. And so I was starting this video out and then I just didn't like how I started it. I don't know, just sometimes, yeah. But this, I started swatching over here and I was like rubbing my arm trying to get it off. Like it's so pigmented and it stains. So yeah, that is shade Electra, super bright. Again, just wasn't gonna go with my eye makeup for today. So that's why I picked a more muted down lip color, but it's still really pretty. I've worn it quite a bit. I think I've worn it filming before. So yeah, really, really pretty shade. Okay, and then this is shade Dark Room. So this one I haven't tried yet. It's a deep red burgundy shade. Let's swatch it. Oh, that's pretty it's like a deep mauve that's really that's pretty I should have maybe <laughs> trying to I should have maybe worn that could have gotten away with that this evening but again we're just going to the see Mamma Mia too all 
favorite. That's I like that one. Dark room's really, really nice. It's a nice purple. It's like a it's it's a deep wine color. That's what I'd call it. A deep wine color that is a bit more on the deeper mauve side. So yeah, getting up close so everyone can see. All right. And then this is the one I'm wearing now. So this is shade Rose Water. The packaging is nice too, like the outside packaging. It's just a contrast, like black and white, white and black. So, and it's packed in there pretty nicely as well. So Rose Water, I wore this today and I did put it, I always put stuff back in the box, I don't know why. So this one's pink. So I wear quite a bit of pinks and quite a bit of nudes. That one's, I really like rose water. I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, and then we have Fringe. That one's a little more red, whereas Dark Room is more purple. This one is a little bit more red burnt orange. Get it up there so you guys can see. So Thrillist, when I opened it, I thought it was going to be pretty close to the shade that I purchased earlier, Electra, but it isn't because I held them up to one another. I haven't even swatched it yet. And it's much more orange. So Electra is a bit more red and Thrillist is a bit more orange. So, okay, what I have to say about these, like the wear time, really good. Packaging, really good. They do have a vanilla undertone kind of scent to them. Um, ingredients are pretty good. It does have some uh, red lake dyes in it. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about lake dyes, guys. Like I'm still just, I'm on the fins. I don't know, what are you guys thinking about them? But yeah, guys, I, so far, I do like these lipsticks. They're really pretty. Um, they have nice packaging and I would recommend them because again, I have worn Electra quite a bit and it stayed a long time if you're working like i'm working now outside of the house and i can't be reapplying like i you know i've stopped almost i either wear a lip gloss where it just see like seeps into my lips or i wear a lipstick or nothing at all just because i can't be reapplying like 20 times a day and i'm not gonna have like a compact with me at all times but yeah, so far, very impressed with Kosas. Have you guys tried them? I'm curious to see your guys' opinion if you've tried any of them. I think they're super pretty. And I just, I like the packaging and I like the branding. I think it's really nice. And I like, for the most part, I like all of the ingredients as well. Alrighty guys, so this wasn't a very long one. I just want to sit down and chat. Um, yeah, so have a wonderful National Lipstick Day. Tell me what you all are doing. I'm guessing if you're watching my channel, you're not going to be waiting in the MAC line. Um, a lot of people always ask me, this is like totally side note, ask me about like MAC dupes for Clean Beauty and I'm, I've never tried anything MAC. I haven't. MAC was never like my thing that I was into. It was just... That isn't my makeup style. If you've watched my videos, you know how my makeup style is. This is this is my makeup style. Like I love makeup, but I'm not like putting lashes on every day. Like if I'm going for a glam look every once in a while I do, but yeah, so sorry guys. I can't be your Mac dupes girl. Sorry about it, I can't. I know a lot about Lancome, I know about L'Oreal, I know about Benefit, I know about Estee Lauder, I know about Still, I know about It Cosmetics. I have a lot of brands that I really used to be into, but yeah, that that isn't something that I know about. Anyways, that was a totally, totally off topic conversation, maybe for another day. So have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.